delivery monster doesn't deliver. Okay, Goo, Simon says, touch your head. Easy. All right, Max, my turn. Simon says, touch your ear. Then make me a slime sandwich with putrid peppers. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't get all that. Can you go back a bit? Okay, Max, I'll say it backwards. Peppers putrid with sandwich slime. <laughs> <laughs> Simon says, help me up. Don't you mean up me help? <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the monster mascot will be there! It's Play All Day Monster. She loves to play with toys all day. Oh, I sure do, Monster Mask Squad. How can we help you play all day, Monster? I'm supposed to be getting a new toy today. A monster dump truck. But the delivery monster hasn't delivered it yet. He should have been here by now. That's not good. Can you help me find out where Delivery Monster is so I can get my monster dump truck? I'm sure we can. The Monster Mask Squad is on the way. Oh boy, that's great! Please hurry. Hmm, we need to find out where Delivery Monster is with Play All Day Monster's new toy. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey. Will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word monster! monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Backwards! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret Monster Math Word with us to make something math amazing happen! Backwards! <laughs> Not yet, Goo! Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right! I forgot! Come on, squad! Let's go help Play All Day Monster find Delivery Monster so she can play with her... Monster Dump Truck! <laughs> Delivery Monster was supposed to start his deliveries here, at stop number one. Well, I don't see him anywhere. Or my monster dump truck. Where or oh, where could he be? Hey, it's Smooth Moves Monster. He knows all the moves. Maybe he knows what moves we need to make to find Delivery Monster. How do monsters need to move? Listen to Smooth, get in the groove. Hop and skip that way until you arrive at the very last stop, stop number five. Delivery Monster's going backwards today. He's starting at the end and then going the wrong way. So go to stop five at the end of the line. You'll have to hop and skip fast to catch him on time. <laughs> Thanks, Smooth Moves Monster. Did you hear that, squad? We have to hop and skip to the end of the line to stop number five. That's where Delivery Monster is starting his route today. We're at stop one now. Come on, squad. Hop and skip with us and help us count the stops along the way. Stop number two. Stop number three. I see deliveries! That means Delivery Monster was already here! But I don't see my monster dump truck. Smooth Moves Monster said Delivery Monster was starting his deliveries at the end of his route and then going backwards. So that means we have to go backwards to catch up to him. But uh, how do we go backwards from stop number five? <laughs> 
did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word backwards. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, backwards! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor! A little monster climbs some stairs, bouncing her ball high in the air. One, two, three, four, five. At the top, she has arrived. Oops, her ball is bouncing down. Where or where can it be found? Here's a clue. It's on number one stair. Just count backwards and you'll find it there. The little monster starts at number five stair, then counts backwards down from there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time for more ball bouncing fun. <laughs> Thanks, Math Monitor. That was monstrously helpful. Now we know how to count backwards from five. Yes! Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> that was fun! I bet knowing how to count backwards will help us get back to stop number one. And get my monster dump truck! And since backwards is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Oh. Okay, squad. We're at stop number five, and we know Delivery Monster is going backwards. So if we go back over the route we just followed to get here, counting backwards, starting with five... We'll catch up to him! Let's do it! Come on, squad! Help us count backwards! Five! Four! Look! More deliveries! That means Delivery Monster was here. But he has moved on. And he didn't deliver the monster dump truck at this stop. Let's keep going backwards, squad. Three. No dump truck. Two. Two. Still no dump truck. One. Here we are, back at stop number one. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> No deliveries here. And no monster dump truck. Oh! Huh? What's, What's that? that? He finally arrived! Delivery <laughs> Monster! Oh, um, uh, hi, Monster Mask Squad. Hi, Play All Day Monster. W what are you all doing here? We're looking for you! And a special delivery for me? A monster dump truck? Um, I've got it right here. Uh, sorry if I'm a little late. I get confused sometimes. I think I was a little backwards today. <laughs> I think you're right. <gasps> My monster dump truck! <laughs> I love it! Oh, thank you so much! Um, okay, everybody, stand back. I'm gonna take off now. Um, ooh. Uh, is there a problem, Delivery Monster? You do seem kind of confused today. Oh, me, oh, my. I think I've forgotten how to do my takeoff countdown. What's a countdown? I count backwards from five all the way down to one. And when I get to one, I take off. I can't take off without a countdown, but I've forgotten how to count backwards. I think I forgot how to count backwards, too. Look, the math monitor. He can remind us how to count backwards from five. First, count forward. Let's count together, squad. One, two, three, four, five. Now, backwards. Here goes. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. That was a monster matherific reminder about counting backwards. Now we can help Delivery Monster do his countdown from five to one so he can take off. <laughs> Are you ready to count backwards, squad? Great! Starting with five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one! Oh, that's how you count backwards. I remember now. Stand back. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Gotta get going. Lots of important deliveries to make. Um, if only I could remember where to go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks and so long, Monster Mask Squad. Bye, Delivery Monster. Hey, Goo, would you like to play with my monster dump truck, too? Would I? Oh, that would be Monster Mask terrific! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I don't think Goo is playing with the truck. I think the truck is playing with Goo. <laughs> Good job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Play All Day Monster find Delivery Monster and get her monster dump truck. And we did it by knowing all about backwards. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <laughs> We, we did the math! We, we did, did the monster math! <laughs> <laughs> Big Burp Monster at the library. This is the story of Goldie Monster and the three monsters. Three? <laughs> like me! Once upon a time, there was a little monster named... <laughs> Weird name. <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster Mask Squad will be there! <gasps> it's Miss Shush Monster. She's the librarian at Monstrovia Library. Hi, Miss Shush Monster! Shush! Oh, please keep your voices down. This is a library. Oops, sorry, Miss Shush Monster. Miss Shush Monster keeps a very quiet library. I certainly do, but it's not quiet today. <laughs> Whoa! What was that big sound? That was Big Burp Monster. Uh oh! Big Burp Monster is a major burping monster. Yes, he is. And I have never heard such loud burps. Oh, oh, shush, shush, please. He's looking for a book, but I have no idea which book. That's because he only speaks in burps. Hmm, how can we help? I need you to figure out which book Big Burp Monster is looking for so that he can leave my library and all this monstrous burping will stop. Don't worry, Miss Shush Monster. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. Quietly. Hmm. We need to figure out which book Big Burp Monster is looking for. I'm sure we can use some monster math to do that. Yeah, monster math can solve any problem. For sure, because monster math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the monster math squad on the job? Join the squad, join the squad. You will. Awesome. First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, hey, monster. Today's secret monster math word is numbers. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Numbers! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Big Burp Monster find his book. <laughs> Hi there, Miss Shush. Shush! Oh, sorry, Miss Shush Monster. Thank goodness you're here. I'm at my wit's end with that noisy big burp monster. <laughs> oh, what book are you trying to find? <laughs> It's no use. Big Burp Monster only speaks in burps. But, uh, even if we know which book he wants, how will we ever be able to find it? There are so many books in the library. <laughs> Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Numbers! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. A monster math monitor. Maybe it can help us. The mail carrier monster delivers a letter to number one monster lane. The mail carrier monster delivers a letter to number two monster lane. 
the mail carrier monster delivers a big package to number three monster lane. Well, that was helpful. Now we know that numbers can be put on houses. Yeah, each house has its own number. So that makes it easy to find someone's monster house. Uh, Indeed. Numbers can help you find all sorts of things, including library books. In fact, all the books in this library are organized by using numbers. Monster math amazing! And since math is all about numbers, let's, let's do, do monster, monster math! math. Oh. Shush! Quietly! Miss Shush Monster, can you tell us more about how numbers are used in the library to help find where a book is? Of course, Lily. There are three different floors in the library and different types of books on different numbered floors. Huh? This is floor number one. Floor number one has books about scaring. Floor number two has books about stinking. Floor number three has books about howling, snarling, and burping. If we can find out which type of book Big Burp Monster is looking for, we'll know what floor number to find it on. Now that Big Burp Monster knows what type of book goes on each floor, maybe he can burp out the number of the floor his type of book is on. <laughs> Great idea, Max. Big Burp Monster. Can you burp out the number of the floor your book is on? Math Squad, help us count the number of burps he burps. <coughs> One, <coughs> two, <coughs> three! That means Big Burp Monster's book is on floor number three. The one with books about howling, snarling, and burping. We can go up those stairs to reach floor number three. Let's go, Squad! <laughs> well, here we are. Floor number three. Wow! <laughs> Look at all the books! But which book is the one Big Burp Monster is looking for? <gasps> Shush, please! Oh, do hurry. I think his burps are getting louder. <laughs> Miss Shush Monster, you said the books on this floor are all about howling, snarling, and burping. That's right, Lily. Shelf number one has books about howling. Shelf number two has books about snarling. And shelf number three has books about burping. Good to know. Big Burp Monster, can you burp the shelf number of your book, please? Help us count the numbers again, squad. One, two, three! That means Big Burp Monster's book is in shelf number three. Oh, the shelf with burping books. All right, I'll find that shelf. <laughs> Me too. Let's count them. Shelf number one. <laughs> Numbers are fun. Shelf number two. <laughs> they sure are, Goo. Ha! Missed me. <laughs> Got me. Uh oh, I forgot what shelf number we were on. I guess we'll have to count them all over again. <laughs> Silly monsters! You don't need to count the shelves. The numbers are right on each shelf. See? Oh, cool! Numbers can help us find things and remember where they are. Come on, squad. Let's find shelf number three. One, two, three! Ah, here we are. Books about burping. Now you can find your book, Big Burp Monster. <laughs> Big burp. Shush, please. Uh-oh. What happened to the numbers? Big burp monsters, big burp blew them all around. With the numbers messed up, how will we know which shelf is which now? Ah! Ah! I think I heard something. Did you see word monster? You did? Oh, let's shout out the secret monster math word, numbers, together again. On three. One. Two, three, numbers! Look! A monster math monitor! A big blue monster stomps his feet as he walks. That really shakes the ground. The shaking is causing a problem. The house numbers are spinning around. The monster's trying to find house number three. Where or where can it be? Another big stomp and, oh, there it is! House number three. Hi. 
Well, that was really interesting. Now we know that numbers are still the same numbers, even if they get turned all around. Help us figure out which numbers these are so we can find the right shelf. Oh, which number is this? A one, a two, or a three. Which do you think? Does it look like one, two, or three? Yes, one. Well done. <laughs> it was just sideways, but it's the same number. And we know that's not the number we're looking for. Right, Max. We're looking for number three, burping books. Oh, oh how about this one? Help us figure out which number this one is again. Is it number two or three? Yes, number two. Good for you. Hey, we're almost done. We found numbers one and two. I know what number is next. Do you? Yeah, it's three, like me. <laughs> this must be shelf number three. Let's see. Yes, shelf number three, burping books. Your book must be here, Big Burp Monster. <laughs> I think he found his book. What's it called? How to Burp Really, Really Loud. <laughs> well, at least Big Burp Monster is gone. Yes, and no more burping. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> we helped Big Burp Monster find his book. And we did it by knowing all about numbers. Monster matherific job, squad. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the, the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster math. math. <laughs> <laughs> Shush, please. Monster cake mistake. There you go. <laughs> what you making? It's a paper airplane, Monster Max. See? I just take this triangle and fold it in half like this, and see? A paper. <laughs> <laughs> really well. I notice. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Miss Merkley. She bakes monster muffins and cakes in her muffin shop. Hi, Miss Merkley! Hi, Monster Math Squad. I've made a bake cake mistake. What happened, Miss Merkley? The Monster Twins placed an order today. You mean even Stevie and even Evie? Yes, but I made a mistake that has completely ruined everything. Can you help? The Monster Math Squad is on the way. Hmm, we need to help Miss Merkley fix the big mistake she made with the Monster Twins cake order. <gasps> I bet we can use Monster Math for that. Yeah, Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! We're a monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Symmetric. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Symmetric. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. <sighs> Waiting's hard. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Miss Merkley fix her big cake mistake. <laughs> Monster Math Squad. Huh? Are those your famous 
Crusty carrot cakes? Yes. I was about to decorate them when I realized my mistake. I love the fun shapes you're baking them in. The shapes are the problem. Why? Listen to the order and you'll see. Dear Miss Merkley, please bake us crusty carrot cakes in different shapes. But that's what you did. Yes, and then I realized it's even Stevie and even Evie who want them. Everything for them has to be exactly the same. What's the problem? There are two for even Stevie and two for even Evie. That's even. <laughs> That's the same. Hmm. But do they look the same? What do you think, Squad? No, none of these cakes are the same shape. And that means the twins won't want any of them. Why don't you just make another set of four cakes just like these? And the twins will be happy. I can't make any more cakes. I've used up all my ingredients. That is a problem. How are we going to get two sets of cake shapes that are the same out of these four cakes? <laughs> ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, symmetric. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, symmetric. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. This snow monster has two weeds she wants to decorate the same, but the paper circles are all different. That's the way they came. How can she make two matching sets? She has a great trick. It's easy because you see, circles are symmetric. She folds a circle down the middle, very carefully. The line the fold makes is called the line of symmetry. Then she tears the circle on the line, and what do you know? She's got two matching ornaments, all ready to go. When a shape is symmetric, both sides are the same in every way. So when all the circles are folded and torn, the sets match. Hooray! Thanks, Monster Mouse Monitor. Now we know all about symmetric. If you have a symmetric shape, like a circle, you can get two new identical shapes out of it. And since symmetric is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! math! I see a circle! Great! If we cut it down its line of symmetry, we'll have a set of two matching cakes. How do we find its line of symmetry? We can't fold a cake down the middle like the paper circles the monster math monitor showed us. No, you certainly can't. But I never make a cake without giving it a matching paper doily. Maybe you can use that somehow? Thanks, Miss Merkley. If we fold the paper doily in half, right down the middle, we'll find its line of symmetry. Here it goes. I fold it in half, I open it up. And there's the line of symmetry, with both sides the same on each side of the line. Just place the doily on the cake, and I'll cut along the line of symmetry. We've got a set of two matching cakes. Perfect for even Stevie and even Evie. Ugh, too bad the rest of the cakes aren't circles. This one's a heart shape. Maybe it's symmetric too. Will you help us check? Monster math horrific. Okay, I take the doily, fold it in half, open it up. <gasps> a perfect line of symmetry. Are both sides the same? They are! That means... A heart shape is a symmetric shape! Place the doily on the cake, Lily, and I'll cut along the line of symmetry. Wow! Now we've got another set of matching cakes for even Stevie and even Evie. What about this one? What shape is it? A triangle. Let's see if it's a symmetric shape. Hmm. I can't figure out where the line of symmetry is on this doily. 
The shapes on each side of this line are definitely not the same. Does that mean this triangle shape is not symmetric? No, oh, what do we do now? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, symmetric, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, symmetric! Look, a monster math monitor. The snow monster wants to hang paper moons on both her weeds to make them look pretty. But she only has one moon. She needs to find the line of symmetry. She tries to fold it in half, but that looks lame. It isn't symmetric. The sides don't look the same. The snow monster wonders, on closer inspection, if maybe the line of symmetry runs in another direction. Not up and down, but maybe across the middle. This shape is symmetric. She has solved the moon-shaped riddle. <laughs> Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know that some shapes have a line of symmetry that runs down the middle. And some shapes have a line of symmetry that runs across them. Let's try folding this triangle across the middle and see what happens. Is it symmetric? Are the sides the same now? Yes, it worked! Okay, Max, put it on the cake. And I'll cut it. Another set of matching cakes. Now, for this one... Nope, that's not symmetric. I'll fold it the other way. Nope, the two sides still aren't the same. It doesn't work for the L shape. I guess that means that some shapes aren't symmetric. If it's not symmetric, we can't use it. Oh, we've got to hurry and get these decorated. Even Stevie and even Evie will be here soon. <laughs> wow, these crusty carrot cakes are perfect. Thanks, Thanks Miss Merkley. We'll take them all. Except that one. Since we can't both have one of those, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't be even. even. Yeah! Go ahead. You monsters deserve a massive monster treat. Uh, the pieces aren't the same. One piece is bigger than the other. I should have the biggest piece, Goo, because I'm the biggest monster. I should have the biggest piece, Max, because I'm the... Uh, the greenest monster. Yeah! <laughs> I know what to do. <laughs> oh, hey, Lily! <laughs> This looks symmetric. There, now your pieces are the same. Monster math horrific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Miss Merkley fix her mistake with the Monster Twins cake order. And we did it by knowing all about symmetric. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the, the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math. math. Cake time. Pum, pum. <laughs> monster Mayhem! One Monster Muffin for you, Goo. And one Monster Muffin for me. And another Monster Muffin for me. And another one for, oh, me. Uh, Max, one Monster Muffin for me and three for you? Is that equal? <laughs> <laughs> No Monster Muffins for me or Goo. Hey, <laughs> now we're equal. <laughs> the Scream Screen always surprises Goo. <laughs> oh, I like surprises. The Scream Screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Mrs. Mopley from the Monster Daycare Center. Hi, Mrs. Mopley. What can we do for you today, Mrs. Mopley? Well, I was hoping to take the mini monsters to the park on the Monster Mover. Wow, the mini monsters sure are excited. Too excited. They're free 
checking out the monster mover who keeps hiding, so I can't tell if there are enough seats on him for all the mini monsters. Hmm. Would you like some help, Mrs. Mopley? Yes, I really, really would. Don't worry, Mrs. Mopley. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. Oh, please hurry. Hmm. We need to help Mrs. Mopley get the mini monsters on the Monster Mover and to the park. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Monster! monster! Today's secret monster math word is... Equal! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Equal! <laughs> Not yet, Goo! Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right! <laughs> I got so excited I couldn't wait! Come on, Monster Math Squad! Let's go help Mrs. Mopley with her mini monsters! glad you're here. The first thing I need to do is get the poor monster mover to come out of hiding. Leave that to me, Mrs. Mopley. Come on out and see what fun shapes I can make mini monster mover. Look, I'm a goo number two. Don't worry about those noisy mini monsters, monster mover. Just watch me. I'll make another fun shape for you. Now, I'm a pretzel. Now, I'm stuck. Uh, help! Hey, uh, come on, no, uh, you, you can do it. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, that got the monster mover out. Good work, Goo. And you too, Max. <laughs> no problem. Now we can find out if there are enough seats on the mini monster mover for all the mini monsters. But how are we going to know if there are enough seats? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, equal. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Equal! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. Four little monsters, each one a gooey green banana for lunch. Are there enough bananas for all the monsters to munch? The only way to tell, the way to make it fair, is to match the bananas to the monsters that are there. The number of bananas needs to be equal to the number of monsters, you see? So Mama Monster puts a banana in front of each monster's seat. One, two, three, Four bananas for four little monsters. That's equal, and now they can eat. <laughs> Manners, little monsters, please. Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know all about equal. Maybe that will help us figure out how to tell if there are enough seats on the monster mover for all the mini monsters. And since equal is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster, monster math! math. I bet we need to find out if the number of seats on the mini monster mover is equal to the number of mini monsters. Right. If they're equal, they can each have a seat. Yeah. Uh, how do we do that? Well, remember what the math monitor showed us, Goo? Oh, right. <laughs> we have to line up the mini monsters with some gooey green bananas. <laughs> Mini monsters love gooey green bananas. <laughs> I think instead of lining up the mini monsters with bananas, we could line them up beside the seats in the mini monster mover. Good thinking, Lily. Then we can see if the number of seats is equal to the number of mini monsters. Whoa! I guess that's a good idea, too. But gooey green bananas sure are tasty. <laughs> 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 I 
wouldn't say gooey green banana so much. Uh, no. <laughs> Silly monsters. Okay, squad, let's round up the mini monsters and put each of them beside a seat on the monster mover to see if there are enough seats. Okay, come on, little monsters. Oh, nope, this way. <laughs> Line up. Yeah, yeah, over here. Yes, each beside a seat. Are there enough seats for all of them? Come on, squad. Help us find out if the number of seats is equal to the number of mini monsters. What do you think? Let's count the mini monsters first and then the seats. One, two, three, four mini monsters, and one, two, three, four seats. Yes! The seats and monsters are equal! Then let's load them on! Are you ready for the mini monsters to climb onto you, Monster Mover? Mini Monster 1, seat 1. Mini Monster 2, seat 2. Mini Monster 3, seat 3. Mini Monster 4, seat 4. Four Mini Monsters and four seats on the Mini Monster Mover. That's equal. Yeah! <laughs> then off to the park we go. Shh. And remember, don't say gooey green bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I said gooey green bananas again. I noticed. <laughs> oh, <is it? laughs> now it's time for a picnic for the mini monsters. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Easy there, mini monsters. I'm sure there are enough picnic bags to go around. Oh, dear. Oh, I certainly hope so. I packed the picnic lunch bags in such a hurry, I'm not sure I have enough for each mini monster. Aww. Gee, it really wouldn't be fair if some of the mini monsters didn't get a picnic lunch bag. What are we gonna do? Hmm, I wonder if knowing about equal can help us. Equal? Uh, what's that again? Remember what the math monitor showed us? <laughs> Oh, yeah! Equal is when there are the same number of things in each group. Right, Goo. Like, if we had a bunch of gooey green bananas... No, 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 don't say it! <laughs> you know, don't, just don't. So, to be equal, there would have to be the same number of picnic bags as mini monsters. Let's find out. Okay, everyone grab a bag and hold it in front of a mini monster. <laughs> Are they equal? <laughs> Help us count again. One, two, three, four mini monsters. And one, two, three, four, five picnic bags. Uh-oh, that's not equal. There are more picnic bags than mini monsters. Well, at least there are enough picnic bags for each mini monster. It's just that there's one extra. <laughs> that's okay. The Mini Monster Mover has had a rough day. He can have the extra picnic bag. Monsterific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped Miss Mopley load the Mini Monsters on a Mini Monster Mover, and we handed out picnic bags to everyone. And we did it by knowing all about equal! That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the math. We, we did, did the, the monster math. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, why are you hiding behind that bush, Mrs. Mopley? I thought only the monster mover hid from the mini monsters. If you knew what was in the picnic bags, you'd hide too, Goo. <gasps> A bungle at Barks and Stench. Look, Max. I put all my books.
books away in their proper place. Aw, oh, that's great, Goo. It looks much neater here in the Monster Map Lab. But what about this book? Oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> And now I see it. <gasps> <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mascot will be there! <gasps> it's Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Hi, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Bully! I'm not very cranky today. Huh? But you're always cranky, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Why aren't you cranky? I just got to deliver in my new monster toys, and the toys make me feel kind of warm and fuzzy inside. What do you call that feeling? Um, happy? Happy, yes! What a horrible feeling. Well, how can we help? Can you put the toys away for me so I don't feel any happier? Put toys away? <laughs> well, that sounds easy. <laughs> you might be surprised, Goo. The monster toys I sell in my store are extremely fussy and hard to put away properly. We're on our way! Make it snappy! Hmm. We need to put away some fussy toys. I'm sure we can use some Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Yes! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word monster. monster! Today's secret monster math word is place. Next time you see word monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Place! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see word monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. I got so excited, I couldn't wait. Come on, squad. Let's go put away some fussy monster toys. Monster marbles? Oh, I love monster marbles. Well, you need to put them away. And you need to put this away. Hey, that toy looks a bit like you, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. And I love being cranky! Oh, ee, my toe! What kind of toy is that? It's a little Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Uh, who would want one of those? Every monster will want one. After all, I'm irresistible. Whoa! I think I just smiled. I gotta get away from these toys before I feel any happier. Um, where do you want us to put your toys, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster? In the right place. Exactly how I put away the others. Okay, squad. Let's start by putting away the monster marbles. Where do they go? Mr. Cranky Pants Monster said to put them away exactly how he put the others away. We probably won't even need to use monster math to do that. Hmm. The other marbles are in containers. So I guess they should go in this container. There! All the marbles are in their containers. And all the other containers are on that shelf, so I'll put this one on the shelf too. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, oh, hey! The monster marbles hopped off the shelf. Whoops, not so easy. Maybe they don't like it there? Why won't these monster marbles stay in their place? Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, place. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, place. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. A monster is putting her hat and shoes away. Each must go in their proper place. Does the monster's hat go on the bottom, on the mat? Uh-oh, the hat's not very happy about that. And where do the monster's shoes belong? On top of the hat rack? 
No, that seems wrong. The shoes go on the bottom and the hat on top. That's their proper place. Just a simple swap. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Now we know about place. Yeah, and we know that things can go in different places. Some things go on the top and some go on the bottom. And since place is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Ow! Okay, squad, let's think. Did we put the marbles in the right place? We put the container on the shelf like all the other containers. Hmm, so what's the problem? Help us figure this out, squad. The monster math monitor showed us that different things go in different places. Some go on the top and some go on the bottom. So top and bottom must have something to do with the problem. Hmm, there are two shelves, a top shelf and a bottom shelf. Maybe we put the container on the wrong shelf. It was on the top shelf, but maybe it needs to be on the bottom shelf. But that's not the place where the other containers are. Right, but it's worth a try. <laughs> Missed me! Got me! Hmm, the marbles don't seem happy on the bottom shelf either. Let's take a closer look at the marbles that Mr. Cranky Pants Monster put away. Is there something about the marbles inside these containers that has to do with top and bottom? Oh, oh, I see something. There are big marbles and small marbles. Right, Goo. And do you see how the big and small marbles are placed in the container? Are the big marbles on the top or bottom of the container? Yes, they're on the bottom. And where are the small marbles? On the top? Or bottom? Aha! The top! So, what about these marbles? Are they in the right place? No, they're all over the place. Then we need to put them in their proper place. Big monster marbles on the bottom. Small monster marbles on the top. Ta-da! Squad, thanks. Now, let's put away this Mr. Cranky Pants monster toy. I like being cranky. There, that was easy. Owie, <laughs> my toe. Oh, I don't think the toy likes where you put it, Max. But this looks like its proper place, right beside the others. Oh, what are we doing wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, place, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, place! Look, a monster math monitor. A cute pet monster on the lawn. That's not the place you belong. Come inside. That's what you should do. In the house is the place for you. A horrible, rotten monster sees the door open wide and decides to sneak inside. Inside the house? No, that won't do. Out of the house is the place for you. Toodaloo! Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Now we know some more about place. Yeah, the right place can also be in something or out of something. Well then, I know exactly the right place for this cranky toy. And I love being cranky! And I love being... Out of the store! Oh, who could that be? Ah, uh, Max! I wouldn't open that! Oh, Ow! And I love being cranky! Sure. It's a very bad morning! Oh, oh. Where does this toy go? Oh, there must be something different about how these toys are put away. Do you see anything different? Oh, oh, I see something, Max. An empty package. That's it, Goo. This toy is out of its package. And all the other toys are in their packages. <laughs> I know what to do. I'll put it here. It's still it's a very bad <laughs> Now the toy is on top of the package, Goo. 
That's not the right place for it. Hmm. What do you think, Squat? Aha! The toy needs to go in the package. Look! It likes it there. That means we put it in its proper place. Yay! Yay! Okay, okay. Scram back to your own place. I'm feeling good and cranky again. <laughs> Monster Math, terrific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Mr. Cranky Pants Monster put his toys away. And we did it by knowing all about lace. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <gasps> we, we did, did the, the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster math. math. <laughs> Laughing makes me cranky! <laughs> Uncle Gloop's putrid peppers. <laughs> Got you, Goo! Oh, hey, would you like me to make more noise when I chase you? Or less noise? Noise Max. <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen. Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster Mask Squad will be there. Hey, it's Uncle Gloop. Hi, Hi Uncle, Uncle Gloop. Gloop. Hello, I'm in a pickle of a problem. That sounds serious. It is serious, Lily. Seriously, Pickly, because it's about pickled putrid peppers. What happened? One of my putrid pepper plants won't grow. And that means I won't have enough putrid peppers to pickle. Well, don't worry, Uncle Gloop. We'll help you get your putrid pepper plant to grow. You will? <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Can Monster Math help a plant grow? Sure! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word monster. monster! Wow! Today there are two secret Monster Math words. Less and more. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math words with us to make something math amazing happen. Less, more. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oops, <laughs> sorry, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Uncle Gloop get his putrid pepper plants to grow. <laughs> so quickly, Monster Mask Squad. I sure hope you can figure out what's wrong with my putrid pepper plant. Uh, gee, it looks pretty good to me. Not that plant, Max, that one! Uh-oh, no leaves! The first plant grew perfectly and popped these beautiful putrid peppers. But there aren't enough putrid peppers for my pickling recipe. I need two baskets like this. Hmm. Why won't this plant grow? Oh, oh, I know! Plants need to go on lots and lots of walks! <laughs> Silly goo! Walks are what pets need, not plants. Oh, I know what plants need. Water! Did you water this plant, Uncle Gloop? Yep, sure did! There's the can I used to water it right there. Hmm, then why won't this putrid pepper plant grow? <laughs> ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math words less and more. Are you ready? Let's shout them together on three. One, two, three, less, more! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. <sighs> this monster scooter is as sad as can be. Its tires are flat. Do you see? Here's an air monster at the front tire. He puts in one puff of air, but the tire needs to go higher. 
Air Monster number two adds a second puff. Air Monster number three adds a third puff. One, two, three puffs of air are enough. Now the back tire needs some. One puff is not enough. This tire has less than the other, so give it another. Air Monster number two adds a second puff of air. But the back still has less than the front tire there. Two is less than three, so give it one more puff. Now both tires have just enough. Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know about less. Right, Lily. When there are two things and one of them doesn't have as much of something as the other, it has less than the other. Maybe the math monitor is telling us that this plant isn't growing properly because it has less of something than that plant does. And since less is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Hmm. Here's the watering can Uncle Gloop used to water this plant. I gave it one can of water. How many cans of water did you give the other plant, Uncle Gloop? I don't know. Let's check. Hey, there isn't just one watering can here. One, two, three cans of water for the plant that popped its putrid peppers. And one can of water for the plant that didn't. Squad, do you know what this means? <gasps> This plant got less than that plant! <laughs> That's right! It got less water. It only got one can of water, but that one got three cans of water. So if we want the plant to grow, we need to give it the same three cans of water. My extra watering cans are right over there! Come on, Max! Let's get them! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Monsters. Oh, okay, I got them, guys. Three cans of water. Here you go. Ready, squad? Let's watch what happens when Max and Goo water the plant that hasn't grown yet. Here goes. One can of water. Wow! Look at that! Two cans of water? Look at those putrid peppers grow! Oh. And look at those putrid peppers pop! Pour in the last can of water, Max. It needs three cans, remember? Thanks, Goo. Huh? What happened? Uh-oh! The rest of the putrid peppers aren't popping! Uh, and the plant's wilting! But I, I need the putrid peppers for my pickling recipe! Why did they stop popping? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math words, less and more, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, less! More! Look! A monster math monitor! The monster scooter's here again, with tires that are flat. But now it knows three puffs of air will soon take care of that. The front tire's done. Now the back needs some. Just one puff? That's not enough. Let's give it three more puffs. Whoops! That can't be! Let's count and see! One, two, three puffs went in front. One, two, three, four? That's more than we want! The back tire now has more than the front. Four is too much. Three's the number we want. Four is more than three, so take one away. Three puffs for each tire. Now it works. Hooray! Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Now we don't just know about less, we also know about more. And that sometimes more can be too much. Maybe the Math Monitor is telling us that Uncle Gloop's pepper plant has too much water. But we gave them both three cans of water, didn't we? What do you think, Squad? Should we check?
Let's count the watering cans in front of the plant that popped its putrid peppers properly. One, two, three. The plant that popped its putrid peppers properly got three cans of water. Now let's count the empty watering cans in front of the plant that didn't pop its putrid peppers properly. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, four? How can that be? We only added three cans of water. I had already put in one can of water before, remember? So our three cans of water added to your one can of water is... What do you think, squad? Four cans of water. So that means that the plant that stopped popping its peppers was given one can of water more than the plant that popped its peppers properly. Four is more than three. Then we need to take away one can of water from this plant. Leave it to me, squad. I'll get that can out of here. Look at that. Now there are one, two, three cans here, and one, two, three cans here. Neither has less or more than the other has. They each have the same. And look at this! The putrid peppers are popping! Oh, they sure are. <laughs> Monster Matt, terrific job, Monster Matt Squad. We helped Uncle Gloop get his putrid pepper plant to grow. And we did it by knowing all about less and more. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the math. We, we did, did the, the monster math. <laughs> Special delivery. Awesome, Goo. Your block tower is really high. <laughs> I know, Max. I've stacked up ten blocks. <laughs> <laughs> A tower too, Max. Cool. <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen. Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need, and whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there. <laughs> it's Sally Scout Monster. Hi, Sally. Hi, Monster Mask Squad. I really need your help. I'm supposed to deliver crab apple cookies to all my neighbors today. I love, love, love crab apple cookies. Crab apple cookies are monstrously munchy. Yes, they are, but I have to deliver 100 of them. And I can't count that high. I can only count to 10. Counting to 100? That sounds like a monsterific challenge. And we love a challenge. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. See you soon. Hmm. <laughs> we need to help Sally Scout count to 100. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah. Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad. Join the squad. You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word monster. monster! Today's secret monster math word is tens. Next time you see word monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Tens! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see word monster again. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Lily. I guess I got carried away. Come on, squad. Let's go help Sally Scout Monster count to 100. <laughs> Monster, we're here to help. Great! Ooh, crab apple cookies! Silly monsters, you can't eat these cookies. We need to help Sally deliver them to her neighbors. Aww. But I won't be delivering any crab apple cookies if I can't count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, um, 12? No, uh, oh, goodness. I'll never be able to count all the way to 100. Oh, maybe we can try. <laughs> right, Goo? <laughs> sure! One, two, three, four, five. Uh, 43? Uh, no, wait, uh, 26? 19? This isn't working. There's got to be a better way to count to 100. But how? Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Tens! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, tens! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor! The monster needs 100 eggs to make his great big monster cake. He's got a special way to count before he starts to bake. To count up to 100, he knows a little trick. He counts in groups of 10 so that the job will go by quick. Each carton has 10 eggs, you see, so counting them is quite easy. One carton of eggs is 10, two cartons is 20, three is 30, Four is 40, five is 50, six is 60, seven is 70, eight is 80, nine is 90, and 10 cartons is 100. When you count by tens, it's easy and fun to count to 100 to get it all done. Whoa, this cake is going to weigh a ton. <laughs> Well, that was monstrously helpful. Now we know how to count by tens to get to 100. And since counting by tens is all about math, let's, let's do, do monster math! math! <laughs> okay, squad. First, we need to put the crab apple cookies into groups of 10. Oh, I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten! Yes, there are ten crabapple cookies in each box. Perfect! But we need 100 cookies, not just ten! I know, Goo, but remember? The math monitor showed us that if we have groups of ten, we can count by tens to get to 100. How did the groups of ten go again? What do you think, squad? Should we get a little help from the math monitor to remind us what the names of the groups of ten are? Yeah, let's! Okay, let's count the groups of ten. The first group of ten is easy to remember. It's... Ten. 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 Next is... Twenty. 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 Let's keep counting by ten, squat. Thirty. Thirty. Forty. 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 Fifty. Fifty. Sixty. Sixty. Seventy. Seventy. Eighty. Eighty. Ninety. Ninety. One hundred. And one hundred! Yeah! <laughs> we did it, squad! We counted all the way to one hundred by tens! Oh, thank you so much, Monster Mask Squad! Now I can deliver my crab apple cookies to the neighborhood! Would you like to help me? Sure, Sally Scout Monster! <laughs> We'd love to! Okay, we can all have one cookie, but just one. Yum! And one for you, Wagon Monster. Oh. Hum, 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 hum. Ahem, monster manners, please. That means chew louder. Hum, 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 hum. Now let's go deliver these crab apple cookies. the crab apple cookies to the whole neighborhood. But there are still some cookies left over. I'm supposed to give out all 100 cookies to the monsters in Monstrophia. How many cookies are left, Sally? I'm not sure. Oh, I can do this. All I need to do is count by tens. Count with me, squad. 
10, 20, 30, 40. There are 40 crab apple cookies left over. Hmm. I'm not so sure, Max. We ate some cookies from this box, so it's not a group of 10. How do we count the cookies now? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, tens, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, tens! Look, a monster math monitor. The monster wants another cake. How many eggs are there now? He's going to count by tens again to figure it out somehow. Ten eggs in each of these cartons, that's ten, 20, 30 eggs. But what about this last one? There aren't 10 eggs inside. He'll have to count them separately. One, two, three, four, five. 30 eggs here and five eggs here. 30 plus five is 35. 35 eggs. That's another big cake. Come on, get cracking. It's time to bake. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Now we know more about counting by tens. Yeah, and if there's not a full group of ten, like the cookies in this box, we have to count them separately. Help us count, squad. For these boxes, let's count by tens. Ready? Ten, twenty, thirty. Great. Now we have to count these ones separately. Ready? One, two, three. Three, four, five. So 30 plus five is... Yes, 35! There are 35 crab apple cookies left over. Oh, thanks, squad. That was fun. 35 cookies? What am I going to do with them? I've already delivered cookies to all the monsters in the neighborhood. Um, Sally, we'd be glad to help you get rid of these crab apple cookies. <laughs> and we've got the perfect plan to make them all disappear. Oh, really? <laughs> I can't imagine what your plan is. <laughs> Eat them! <laughs> I never would have guessed. <laughs> Monster Math, terrific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Sally Scout Monster deliver her crab apple cookies. And we did it by knowing all about tens. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three, howl! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopi goes walkies. <laughs> Please try and hold still so I can measure you. <laughs> that tickles, Max. <laughs> it makes me laugh. <laughs> That's because monster math measuring is so much fun. <laughs> <Whoa! Whoa! laughs> Sorry, Lily. The scream screen always surprises me. <laughs> I like surprises. <laughs> the scream screen! Somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Hi! Fooey, I'm very cranky today. <laughs> Mr. Cranky Pants Monster is always very cranky. How can we help? I'm going to my nephew's party. A party? I love parties! I don't. They make me cranky. And you want the Monster Mask Squad to cheer you up? No. I like being cranky. I need you to walk my pet monster, Woofy, while I'm gone. Oh, we can do that. You might be surprised, Goo. Woofy is very, very, very hard to walk. Nothing's too hard for the Monster Mask Squad. We'll see. Hmm. We need to walk an unwalkable pet monster. I'm sure we can use some monster math to do that. Yeah, because monster math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the monster math squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Great. First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word monster! monster! 
Today's secret monster math word is shape. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Shape! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, okay, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go watch Woofy. Cranky Pants Monster. <laughs> it's about time you monsters got here. I'm gonna be late for the party. Whoa, look at all the doors. Which one is Woofy's? Wait, don't leave yet. Where's Woofy? Woofy's behind the round door with the square shaped knob. Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, shape. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One. Two, three, shape! <gasps> Look, a monster math monitor. Three little monsters hairy. Round, triangle, and squarey. Three little shapes who look like apes. Round, triangle, and squarey. Round, triangle, and square are all math words. We must need to know them to help us walk Woofy. Mr. Cranky Pants Monster said that to find Woofy, we have to find a round door with a square-shaped knob. Okay, Monster Math Squad! Let's do Monster Math! We need to find a door that's round, like this shape, with a knob that's square, like this. That one! It's round! Aw, cute! <laughs> Silly monsters! That door is round, but so is the knob. Remember, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster said that Woofy is behind a round door with a square knob. Do you see it? Yes! That door is round and it has a square knob. We found Woofy! <laughs> Good job, squad! We, we did, did the, the math. math! We did, did the monster math! math. I'll walk, Woofy! Whoa! <laughs> I'm stuck! Here, oh, 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 hey, oh. Cranky Pants Monster did say Woofy is very, very, very hard to walk. Now we know why. He's sticky. Look! A chew toy. Maybe Woofy likes to play fetch. That'll get him going. <laughs> That's not a chew toy. It's another pet monster. Follow those monsters! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Where's Woofy? Excuse me, um, I could point to where Woofy went, but uh, you'll need to put me back together again so I have something to point with. This must be Falls Apart Monster. Or at least his mouth. He falls apart all the time, poor guy. Let's put him back together! Does this piece go here or there? Uh, could you maybe try again? If we knew what Falls Apart Monster is supposed to look like, I bet we could put him back together again. Look, a monster math monitor. It's a picture of Falls Apart Monster. Hmm, Falls Apart Monster is made up of different shapes. There are round shapes and a square shape and a triangle shape. Come on, squad! Let's match the pieces and put Falls Apart Monster back together again! Let's do Monster Math! Let's start with his body. Do you remember what shape it is? It's square! Now, let's find the square piece. Do you see the square? There! Now let's find his eyes! What shape are they? 
Turn around! Let's look for two round pieces. There! Way to use your eyes, Squad! Now let's find his horn! What shape is it? Uh, a pointy thing? Do you remember the name of that shape? Triangle, yes! Hmm, where is the triangle piece? Oh, I see it! He's almost back together again! Oh, I'll put on his other parts! to be missing. What is it? Oh, right! His nose! <laughs> That's a funny-looking nose! It is an unusual shape. Ah! Ah! Did you just see the word monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, shape, together again. On three. Ready? One, two, three... Shape! A monster math monitor! Four little monsters, Harry. Round, triangle, star, and squarey. Four little shapes who look like apes. Round, triangle, star, and squarey. Now we know the nose is in the shape of a star. Hmm, we need to find a piece that's shaped like a star. Let's look for it. You see it? Where? Oh, there! <laughs> Here you go, Falls Apart Monster. One star nose coming up. Oh, thank you. We put Falls Apart Monster back together again. Way to go, Monster Math Squad. We, we did, did the, the math. math. We did the Monster, monster Math. math. Oh. Now, can you tell us where Woofy went? Woofy was heading for the park. Uh, uh, that way. <laughs> Thanks, Falls Apart Monster. Come on, squad. Let's get that pet. Bye-bye. Oopsie. <laughs> What's wrong, little monster? We were having a party when a big, sticky monster came racing by and everything stuck to it. <gasps> that sounds like Woofy. Oh, where is he? We don't know. Party, balloons, fooey! Hey, aren't you monsters supposed to be walking Woofy? Um, we have something to tell you about Woofy. <laughs> what is it? I'm already late for the party. Woofy! Uh, we just wanted to tell you that Woofy had a great walk. That's not Woofy. That's Sticky. Never take him for a walk. He sticks to everything. Uh, but if that's Sticky, where's Woofy? <laughs> that's Woofy. <laughs> Oops, I burst the balloon. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Maybe I like parties after all. Aww. Well, at least Woofy got his walk. And now the poor little party monsters have no balloons to play with. Look! I'm a balloon! <laughs> but you're a triangle, Goo! Balloons are round, like a circle. Oh! Right! <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> well done, Monster Math Squad! We walked Woofy and saved the party! And we did it by knowing all about round, triangle, star, and square shapes. That deserves a great big monster howl! On three! One, two, three. No! We, we did, did the math. math. We, we did, did the monster math. <laughs> Sneeze freeze. One, uh, two. Wow. Three. Um, goo. It's not polite to talk with your mouth full. <laughs> Sorry, Lily. <laughs> that scream screen always surprises me. I like surprises. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrobia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Abominable Fridge Monster! Hi, Abominable, Abominable Fridge, Fridge Monster! Monster. Hi. 
<laughs> monster Mask Squad. Abominable Fridge Monster always has a cold. I don't mind. It's... <laughs> it's absolutely all right. I'm a fridge after all. Hey, why is there food on the floor? Shouldn't it be inside of you keeping cold? Yes, Lily, that's the problem. I keep sneezing the food right out of me. Well, that's not good. No, Max, it isn't. Today, I'm having a picnic with Cranky Pants Monster, and all this food is for the picnic. If I keep sneezing it out, the food will be ruined. We're on our way, Abominable Fridge Monster. Please hurry. <laughs> hmm, we need to help Abominable Fridge Monster keep the food for the picnic from falling out of him. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can solve any problem. Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word Monster! Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Full. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Full. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh. <laughs> okay, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Abominable Fridge Monster stop sneezing out all his food. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <coughs> hello. See, I used to be completely full of food, but now I'm just. <laughs> uh oh, Doc! <laughs> I'm not full anymore. Thanks, but is my nose lit up? No. Then I'm not completely full. My nose lights up when I'm completely full. How do we make Abominable Fridge Monster full? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, full. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. It worked! A monster math monitor! An empty closet. Nothing in it. Such a lonely place. Here come little monsters, filling up the space. Now the closet is all full. Be careful not to fall. Whoops! Now the closet's empty again. Nothing in it at all. Little monsters climb back in. The closet's full once more. Another monster. No more room. Better shut the door. Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know all about full and empty. Full is when there's lots of things inside, and empty is when there's nothing inside. And since full and empty are math words, let's, let's do, do Monster Math! math. <laughs> well, there's some food in here, but not lots of food. There must be more food to put in. Is there any more food anywhere, Abominable Fridge Monster? Well, uh... Uh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Oh! Oh! Missed me! <laughs> Got me! Whoa! That food really went far! I bet the other food must have gone far too. Let's go find it, squad! I found some! Me too! Here's some food! There! We put the food back in! Do you think Fridge Monster is full now? Well, let's check his nose. Is it lit up? You're right. It's not. I guess he's not full. But there's so much food in him. How can he not be full? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, full, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, full! Look! A monster math monitor! Four monsters in a photo booth. It's completely full, you see. 
Out they fall on the floor. The booth is now empty. Three monsters climb back in. There's still some empty space. Where's the other monster to help fill up the place? Oh, there he is. Monster four, up to the top he'll climb. The space is gone. The booth is full. It's picture taking time. Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know that something is completely full when there is no empty space left at all. So are there any empty spaces left in Fridge Monster? You're right! Some empty space! So that means Abominable Fridge Monster isn't full yet. We have to put more food in. But we found all the food there was to find. Well, something must be missing. But what? Hey! What's this lid for? That looks like the lid for my picture of Slime Muck Punch. I don't see any picture in here, Fridge Monster. Oh no! My Slime Muck Punch picture is missing? Okay, just don't panic. We need to go find it. But how can we make sure no more food flies out while we're gone? <gasps> oh, I know! There's some tape! Let's tape his door closed for now while we go find the slime punch. That way things will stay in when he sneezes. Hey, good thinking, Lily. <laughs> it worked! Now let's find that runaway pitcher. What's this? Ah, <gasps> slime muck punch globs! It's a trail! I bet if we follow it, we'll find the pitcher. Let's go! Huh, the trail ends here. But where's the slime muck pitcher? I don't know, Goo. I don't see it. Do you? You see it? Where? Oh, there it is. Thanks. Abominable Fridge Monster is missing you. I know, I'm so sorry. But don't make me go back in there. I'll just get sneezed out again. I got rattled so much the last time I flipped my lid. Here's your lid, little buddy. Oh, thanks. Aw, you've got to go back, Pitcher. What's a picnic without Slime Muck Punch? I know, I know, but look at me. I got nothing in me. I'm all empty. Well, we know all about empty and full, right, Squad? And we know how to make you full again. Y you do? How? We just need to find more slime muck and pour it into you until there's no space left. Where can we find slime muck in Monstrovia? The, the slime, slime muck, muck well! well. Put some slime muck in this bucket and then pour it into the pitcher until it's full. <laughs> Is it full yet? Let's see. Is there any space left? There is. So it's not full yet. Let's keep pouring. How about now? You're right. There's still space left. Not full yet. Let's keep pouring. Now? Yes! There's no space left. It's full. Oh, thank you. I'm feeling better already. Great. Let's get this pitcher back inside Abominable Fridge Monster so the picnic can begin. Okay, Fridge Monster, we've put the pitcher full of Slime Muck Punch inside you. Do you feel full? Well, I feel full, but what's my nose doing? Yes, your nose is lit up! Ha <laughs> Completely full and ready for the picnic! I can't thank you enough, Monster Bat Squad. Have a great picnic, Abominable Fridge Monster! Hey, Mr. Cranky Pie! Hey, Mr. Cranky Pie! And... <gasps> Phew! Oh, that was lucky. Ha! Lucky! Let's eat! I'm hungry! And being hungry makes me cranky! <laughs> <laughs> Everything makes Mr. Cranky Pants Monster cranky. 
Way to go, Monster Math Squad! We helped Abominable Fridge Monster make a great picnic. And we did it by knowing all about full. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the, the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> Money Monster! Would you stay still, Goo? I can't make a sculpture of you if you keep moving around. Sorry, Max. No, I used the wrong amount of clay on this part. My sculpture doesn't really look like you. It's all squishy. <laughs> now I look like your sculpture, Max. All squishy. <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrobia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Monster Angelo, the greatest sculptor in all of Monstrovia. Hi, Monster Angelo. Hello, Monster Mask Squad. What can we do for you, Monster Angelo? I have a problem. I'm supposed to be making a sculpture of Senor Cranky Pants Monster, but I need help. I can't finish the sculpture, and he wants to see it today. It's a sculpture disaster. Can you help me? We'd love to help you, Monster Angelo. We'll be right over. Monster Angelo thanks you. <laughs> hmm. We need to help Monster Angelo finish his sculpture. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Monster! 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 Today's secret Monster Math word is... Volume. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Volume! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I got so excited, I couldn't wait. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help a master monster sculptor finish his sculpture. <laughs> I'm so upset. My latest monster piece is never going to be finished. You see? Hmm, it looks pretty good to me. No, it is not good, Lily. Look, my sculpture, it is missing a head. Oh, right. Is there a reason you can't make the head for your sculpture, Monster Angelo? Yes, there is. You see, I use monster mud to make my sculptures, and I measure my mud very, very carefully using those containers and buckets over there. So what's the problem? The problem is this bucket here. It's the one I need to use to measure the mud for Senor Cranky Pants Monster's head, but I can't use it. Why not? Because there's a hole in my bucket, dear Lily. It can't hold any mud. How am I supposed to finish my monster piece if I can't get the right amount of mud? Oh! This bucket is the same shape as the broken one. Can you use it, Monster Angelo? Hmm, they are the same shape. You may be right, Senor Max. I will try it. Oh, I hope it works. Aha! My monster piece is done! Monster Angelo is saved! Ah! It is a teeny tiny head, isn't it? Not at all like the head of Senor Cranky Pants Monster. I used all the mud in the bucket, but it wasn't enough! Monster Angelo is ruined! How can we help Monster Angelo measure out the right amount of mud he needs to make the head on his sculpture? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, volume. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, volume. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. It's a very hot day. Mm-mm, a lemonade drink. A 
Another thirsty monster wants some drink that is pink. Which cup should he use if he wants to be fair? And drink the same volume as his friend over there. This cup is the same shape, but it's way too small. It doesn't have the same volume. No, not at all. This cup has a very different shape but it holds the same volume. Mmm, it tastes great! Thanks, Math Monitor! Now we know that even though two containers are the same shape, they can hold different volumes of something. And that containers of different shapes can have the same volume. And since volume is a math word, let's, let's do, do Monster Math! Let's look at these containers again. We need to find a different container that holds the same volume of monster mud as the broken one. And it doesn't have to be the same shape. That's right, Goo. But what is the volume of monster mud that the broken bucket can hold? Maybe it says inside. Ah, look. Wow, Goo. <laughs> you fit perfectly into the bucket. Wait a minute. If Goo fits perfectly in the bucket, that means he is the exact same volume that it can hold. And so we can use Goo to find another container that holds the same volume of monster mud as the broken bucket. But Max, I don't understand. Are we going to fill Goo with mud? <laughs> <laughs> no, Monster Angelo. I'm confused. It's a little complicated, I know, Goo. But trust me, I need you to get into this container. <laughs> oh, okay, Lily. Does Senor Goo fit? I can't look. What do you think, Squad? Does Goo fit? Uh-uh. Goo is bigger than this container. It's too small. Its volume isn't the same. Mm, how about this one? Go ahead, try it, Goo. Whoa! I think this bucket is too big. You're right, Goo. You don't fill it. Wrong volume. Try another. Hmm. Look, Max. I fit. Good work, Goo. This bucket has the exact volume that we need. Here, Monster Angelo. This bucket is the same volume as the broken one. You can use it to measure out the mud you need to make the head. Well, I don't know, but I'll give it a try. That was the perfect amount of mud. My monster piece is magnificent. <laughs> Woohoo! Yippee! <laughs> Oops. This is not good. Sorry, Monster Angelo. Maybe there's some way we can stick the arm back on the sculpture. That's it. I can use this sculpture glue. We must use an exact amount to glue the arm back on, enough to fill this cup. All right. Well, let's get started. I'll help you, Monster Angelo. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <gasps> I don't believe it. That's the same thing that happened to my bucket. It's cracked. It can't hold any sculpture glue. What are we going to do? Oh, I don't see any containers here that look the same shape as the broken cup. No, but remember what the math monitor showed us? We can use a container of any shape, as long as it has the same volume. But we can't use goo to check the volume of this cup, Lily. It's way too small. Oof! What else can we put in the cup? It needs to be something that won't leak through the crack. Sand! <laughs> Super math -erific. We can use sand! There! Now we just have to find another container that holds this exact amount of sand. Oh, how about this one, Lily? What do you think, Squad? Does this container hold all the sand? Does it hold the right volume? Nope. There's still some sand left in the cup. This container is too small. Wrong volume. Try this one! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> nope. The sand doesn't fill this container, so the container is too big. Wrong volume again. Monster Angelo, how about that container you're holding? What, what this? 
But it will never work, Lily. It's not shaped like any of the other containers. Remember, it's not the shape of the container that's important. It's the volume. Yes! It holds the right volume of sand. Monster Angelo, you can use that container to measure out the correct amount of glue to fix the sculpture. Excellent! I will get to work. Hurrah! And just in time, I think I hear Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. All right, Monster Angelo, I don't have all day. Let's see this sculpture you made of me. Of course, of course, Senor Cranky Pants Monster. I so hope you like it. We'll see. I don't like anything very much, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster? Oh, mm. this sculpture makes me Cranky! He doesn't like it! And I like being cranky! Oh, he likes it! Oh, thank you, my friends! Monsterific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped Monster Angelo finish his sculpture of Mr. Cranky Pants Monster, and we did it by knowing all about volume. That deserves a great big monster howl on three! One, two, 